Hey everyone, this is Zane Destiny, um, in the flesh, so to speak. Um, just trying something slightly different. This is not going to be a deck profile video or updating on my terrible, terrible uh, losing streak on uh, card games. No, I'm just trying a um, slightly different format. I've got a dual camera set up. Got my little microphone doohickey set up right here. Hopefully you can hear something from me. If not, that's going to be interesting. So, what I've got today. I'm doing a slight unboxing or unpackaging and a very different Build With Me episode. So I did do Build With Me um, ages ago with model kits, but this isn't quite a model kit. I was just in Sainsbury's one today and I saw something interesting. It's a Lego product. Well, just about. Uh, Hopefully they can be seen properly. I've got my camera at a weird orientation, so hopefully it's doing all right. So what's it called? It's called Dots and Create Your Own Designs. It's basically like a friendship bracelet with a uh, bracelet, bracelet with Lego pieces, which I think is quite interesting. And I need to learn that my camera is not uh, is up here, not down here, because when I'm looking down here, I'm looking at myself which isn't helpful so yes and I need to keep in control of my lazy eye as well because that's going to be fun uh, so uh, what we're going to do I'm going to open this up and I'm going to make a bracelet on camera so why did I buy this well it's different it's interesting and I don't know how to cut this on camera without possibly damaging everything on the inside so it feels like it's wrapped separately in two stages. Yeah, there's like separate chambers for each one. That's the little doohickey pieces. So these are literally just Lego pieces, which is kind of cool, actually, the thought of it. You only get so many, so I guess you buy more to get more pieces. And this is a strap do doohickey. It's literally just a flexible piece of kind of like rubbery lego with lego studs which i'm already seeing issues really because well a that's a very small bracelet what's this made for kids <laughs> um yeah that's a quite small bracelet actually so i did think about buying this for someone else but i'm thinking maybe this one even fit them oh well so what kind of pieces are these? Because these aren't going to be double pieces, are they? Okay, so they're kind of all like the single stud pieces, which probably would stand a better chance with like the flexible material. And I probably should try and get a better camera shot for that. Now you can see see the light reflecting. Maybe I should move the selfie ring. But you can see, you can get the gist of it. So I'm just going to quickly, I'm going to try to overexpose this camera because obviously this is how professional I am. I'm doing this on camera. How's that? Is that a bit too bright or is, that might work actually. Ooh, dirty pair of scissors. Yeah, these are my stationary scissors so they can be as dirty as they want. Um, okay open let's try and not pop it open and have pieces all over the place okay. Bam. Everywhere. so what we got we got some of these oh musical melody doohickeys oh so that's why it's got music on the packaging it yeah it just says music right there so I'm guessing it's something to do with music probably more musical designs so Let's read a bit of the packaging actually. Create your own designs, music. Um, create your own designs, dots. Ah, oh, so there is extra packages, extra stuff you can get, which is interesting. I'm just gonna pause one second. Sorry about everyone. I decided to go grab something before, before continuing, because I've got a funny little idea. So anyways, uh, we've got some musical note doohickeys. We got some more blue musical note doohickeys. What's this one? Oh, just some 
I'm, I feel like I'm playing like uh, Trivial Pursuit, so like these um, triangle shapes. There's the pink ones. It would be nice. Well, I've already got purple stuff, but actually these blues would be nice. The greens, not too bad. They can probably go with the purple. So I want to go for like a set color scheme. Um, blues, whites, I guess white will go over everything. I may not use the yellows because the person I want to give this to doesn't wear yellow that much. So there's my doohickeys and I've got that in camera without even noticing. Awesome. Um, right, buy yellow. Um, I'm going to try something quick because I had a silly little idea. So this isn't the first Lego thing I've bought in a while. Uh, I'll show this on camera actually. Um, I bought a couple of sets of like the um, Mandalorian. Um, I do have a couple of kits just like built in the next room. Uh, these are just the extras, I guess you can say. I wonder if we'll be able to do a two-in-one review. Um, yeah, yeah, you could. So if you really wanted to, you can put these guys right on the band and just wear them around on your wrist. <laughs> that's, that's quite funny, actually. <laughs> I might just get another one of these for myself. Oh, I do actually have more clear do hickeys as well, so I could take them off this and use them for any additional space. So, what kind of design do I want to go for? What do they have on the front of the packaging? Oh, you know what? I thought that this was like a um, a flat piece, but no, they just sort of like done a, a design with these green doohickeys. That's kind of cool. You know what? I think I might do something similar because, I mean, this isn't going to be a like an in-depth video. It's just going to be me quickly putting something together. I've not really like seen anything like this before, so it's kind of interesting to mess around with, at least I think so. So I'll start off by following the design they've done. So I wanna I wanna try and duplicate that sort of design now. Which might be hard with my limited brain. And the beauty, beautiful thing about this is, if you don't like it, you can just take it off and do it yourself. <laughs> oh wait, I've already messed it up. I've already messed that up. And it's not as bad as I thought it would be to take off again. I will need to tidy this up a bit because I am just slapping it on there. But what I think I'll do, I'll get all the pieces on there, then I'll pause, readjust, and show off the final product. Wait till that. Uh, what do I want to go for next? Because do I want to do I want to go into purple now or pink, or do I just forget progress? I'll go on to the musical notes again. Although I feel like I want to do the whites first. So if I do the, oh, I just realised they're actually glittery white. Don't know if you can actually see that. You know what, what if I held up to this camera? <laughs> Probably not. No. I'll add, I'll readjust the cameras later after I finish mulling about. So um, this, this whole video is just a, well, reviewing this product, which I bought from Sainsbury's for I think six pounds already. So it's not exactly a cheap thing, but just for a silly little gimmicky present, seems all right. Um, but it's also, this video is to basically test my webcam, well, streaming capabilities. So I just want to double check the dual streaming, how it comes out, how the, this audio setup goes. I know I've done um, audio with um, Digimon before, when I was streaming Cybersly. I've got that sort of like, I guess, mastered. But I kind of want to get into the realm of possibly 
doing a little bit more with my streaming abilities. I would like to do a proper unboxing, so a live unboxing of like products, if I can. But we'll see, we'll see. Right, you know what, I'll probably do something different if I put the pinks in another purple, I don't know. Again, I'm just hacking something together. You know what? No, I think I'm gonna turn these around. I'm not gonna do the same pattern as the other. I'm gonna make it contain them like, ooh, look. The struggles of leather. The color's not really popping up, so I will do a, like a recap video. This is just so you can actually see things without being too dark. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Picking that up. So I've already seen an issue. It's an odd number of pieces in this set. I mean, I've got a clear, a purple, and two of the, I want to say like triangle shape purples left over. So I've got some bits left over, which isn't helpful. Because... Well, so if this person was to wear it like that, oh gosh, I can't put it together now. There you go. Hmm. Actually, no, that wouldn't be too bad. Although, when you put on this wrist strap, you probably most likely want to put it underneath, wouldn't you? Like underneath your wrist. This one, it will have to be worn if they were to wear it like this. It'll come up on the side. I don't know if that's coming up properly on camera. But then put it on like this, it would make it a bit easier to remove. You know, after the sick and tired of wearing this. I think I should decorate the ends with a circle of music. Because everyone likes music. No matter what shape or form it is. Everyone likes their music. Hmm. Yeah, it does take a, a lot of like fiddling around to get things straight. So yeah, I'm I'm left with like a few odd pieces here. All right, I'm just gonna pause the camera, readjust the lighting, and readjust it. And we're back. I just twisted the lighting around a little just to try and. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to edit some of that moving around footage. So I've kind of kept things the same before. I So I've got two different cameras. One's a C290, no one's a C whatever. So I just need to get used to the, the different thresholds. This one I'm using to focus on the closest stuff needs a bit of more love and attention. So come on guy. You want to focus for us? Oh, are you? Are you automatically focusing? Yay! Okay. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. What if I turned off autofocus? And did this. What was this bit? I don't know about that. That's. <laughs> Got 
gosh, that's terrible. Okay. Uh, let's turn off the filters back on. No. Turn auto focus off. So this is going to take some getting used to. So this camera kind of needs me to do more input, which might not be great, but it's something. So anyways, this is the final product. I probably should move it out of my way, shouldn't I? Because I keep forgetting. Also, I've got this strange thing because I used to be able to crop the video on Logic Capture, but now that functionality seems to have gone. So I don't know why. Let's get to the next part. And we'll finish it off with the musical notes there. So there is a few gaps, but I don't really want to use the yellows because, well, that's not the color scheme I'm going for. But if they so choose, I have performance issues apparently. Hmm. <laughs> My computer is apparently not equipped for logic capture. Well, we'll see. But yeah, if they choose, they get their own Lego figures, they can just stick them on their arm. Thinking there's a little Mandalorian on their bracelet. <laughs> so yeah, that's my quick review, plus also test of my equipment. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. And for those that haven't seen my ugly mug before, hi, this is what you've been listening to. Okay. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you again next time, or I don't see you, you'll probably see me. This isn't going to be a regular occurrence by the way, I mean, you don't really want to see this all the time, do you? I mean, yeah, I haven't got anything to sign off with, so better remember to edit out the light adjustment video, or I'll just leave it in there, just to show how amateurish I am. Take care, guys. Bye. Oh, God, where's the stop button?